Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run adaptive boosting algorithm in Orange. Adaboost is a short form of adaptive boosting. It is an ensemble machine learning algorithm that can be used in wide variety of classification and regression tasks. It is a supervised learning algorithm that is used to classify data by combining multiple weak or base learners, the example is decision trees, into a strong learner. Adaboost works by weighing the instances in the training data set based on the accuracy of previous classifications. Boosting algorithms works on the idea of first building a model on the training data set and then building a second model to correct the faults in the first model. Let's understand this concept. The data is feeded to the first classifier. The classifier can be the decision tree. Then the faults are identified in the first classifier. Again, the data is feeded into the second classifier. Now the faults of the first classifier are rectified by the second classifier. Again, the data is feeded to the third classifier and the faults of the second classifier are rectified. This is known as a sequential learning. This technique is repeated until the mistakes are reduced and the data set is accurately predicted. Boosting algorithm functions similarly in that they combine numerous models, weak learners to produce the final result, the strong learners. After running the adaptive boosting algorithm, it is necessary that we evaluate it. This is done with the help of confusion matrix. On y-axis, we are having true label, the actual observation. On x-axis, the predicted label, the, predic the prediction done by the model. Now, 50 are such cases in which the actual observation is that the person is having a COVID. And the prediction done by the model is, yes, the person is having the COVID. This means that the data is correctly classified. The second scenario, the person is normal and according to the model, the person is normal. So 114 are such cases. So 114 plus 50. 164 are such cases which are correctly classified by the algorithm. Let's talk about this one. Person is normal, but according to the model, the person is having a COVID. So six such cases are there. Another scenario, the person is having a COVID, but according to the model, the person is normal. So 22 plus 6, 28 uh, are such cases which are misclassified. This is not desirable. It is also known as a leakage in the model. Cross validation. Cross validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say it is a technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. Let's understand this concept. This is all data. We will be dividing into two parts, training data, test data indicated by the training data indicated by green color, test data indicated by the blue color. Now, the data will be divided into five poles. This means that if we are having 100 observations, each pole contains 20 observations, that is 20 instances. In the first iteration, fold one, fold one becomes a testing data and the remaining becomes a training data. In second iteration, fold two becomes a testing data and the, re and the remaining becomes a training data. Iteration three, fold three becomes a testing data and the remaining are training data. This continues till we get the optimal parameters. Now let's see how we can run Adaboost in orange. So for this, we will go on the canvas. The first widget which will activate is the file widget. Click on it. Now double click on it browse your own data data set from here click on heart one press open so in the first column we are having the name of the variable type of the variable role and the values let's start age is numeric role feature gender categorical feature values female and male chest pain type categorical values ESY, ATA, NAP, TA. Resting blood pressure, numeric, cholesterol, numeric, fasting blood sugar, categorical. Now we will go at the bottom and 
what we want to predict. So the heart disease is categorical. Role, make sure that the role is specified. It should be target and the values are no and yes. Apply. Close it. Now you go and transform data sampler. Activate it. Connect file widget with the data sampler. Double click on it. Sampling type options which are available are fixed proportion of the data. 70% goes for training, 30% for testing. Fixed sample size. That is we can write number of instances which are to be extracted from the original data file. With replacement, without replacement. Cross validation. We have already discussed. So here number of subsets are 10. This means that 9, 9 are considered for training, 1 for testing. We can also do the bootstrapping. Close it. Now go in the model. And you are having a data boost here. Click it. Now go in evaluate. Test and score. Connect the data sampler with the test and score. And the algorithm with test and score. Done. Double click on it. Just see area under the curve. Classification accuracy, F1, precision, recall, Matthews correlation coefficient. From here, cross validation can be activated and the results will change. So, this is random sampling which is active at present. You can also do leave one out, test on train data, test on test data. Now, again, go in evaluate, activate confusion matrix. Click here. Connect test and score with confusion matrix. Double click on it. Now see the first, this is the first one. Actual, that is a person is not having the heart disease. The prediction done by the model, ADA boost, that the person is not having the heart disease. Actual, no. Predicted, no. This is desirable. It means the model is working correctly. So we are having 760 such cases. Now let's talk about this part. Actual, the person is having the heart disease and the prediction done by the model is yes, the person is having the heart disease. So actual yes, predicted yes. This is also desirable. So 1014 plus 760, these are correctly classified cases. Now let's talk about this part. The person is having the heart disease and the prediction done by the model is no. This is not desirable. The person is not having the heart disease, this cell. And the prediction done by the model is yes, the person is having the heart disease. So 236 and 180, they are misclassified cases. From here, you can get the probabilities also. Okay. So keep number of instances on, close it. Next, we will activate the ROC analysis. Click here. Connect ROC analysis with test and score. Double click on it. Maximize. Make sure target is yes, that is a person is having a heart disease or not. So in the ideal scenario, we want that this, this green line should be nearer to top left corner. It should be in the ideal scenario. It means that it should be nearer to y-axis. Just see the trajectory of my line. It should be nearer to y-axis and nearer to x-axis. This is an idealistic scenario. Now, close this. Activate the performance curve. Click here. Let's make some space. Connect test and score with the performance curve. Double click on it. Maximize. Make sure target is yes. So the performance curve shows the curves for analyzing the proportion of true positive data instances in relation to the classifier's threshold or the number of instances that we classify as positive. So from here, you can activate cumulative gains, precision recall, at present, keep the things, uh, keep it on lift curve only. 
okay close it now we want to compare is ada boost better than other algorithms or not so let's pick up some other algorithms like uh, decision tree one keep it here and one more is random forest now connect tree with the test and score random forest with test and score double click on it and just see which one is better so you can see random forest is giving much better result in comparison to ada boost so this way you can do the comparison now minimize this and activate the data sampler keep it on the left side and again activate this one now just see fixed proportion of the data click here sample the data so the figures will change similarly cross validation sample the data the figures will change bootstrapping sample the data okay so these are the sampling techniques which can be used close it close this now i will remove this is entry random forest bring ada boost uh, towards the right hand side bring data sampler here now activate the predictions which are in evaluate click here connect ada boost with predictions and the data sampler with predictions i will explain the reason for it connect it double click on data sampler fixed proportion of the data it means that the 70 percent goes for training and 30 percent goes for testing so sample the data close double click here only on remaining data the prediction is to be done that is a 30 percent data click ok double click on it and just see the predictions done by the model the ada boost model and see the observations it is 275 the original data file consists of 918 so it's just a 30 percent of it close it now disconnect this put the data sampler here bring ada boost here prediction skip as it is now we want to introduce uh, 10 instances 10 more instances that is the completely new data file so again i will go in the file widget click here double click on it browse heart one test see heart one was the heart one was the original data set on which uh, the algorithm we ran the algorithm heart one test it consists of 10 instances that is the completely new data set the algorithm has never we have never uh, this algorithm has never seen this data set press open see the name of the variable age gender chest pain type the interesting thing is at the bottom heart disease the 12th variable heart disease the dependent variable is not there why because we want the algorithm to predict it close it connect file with the predictions double click on it yeah so we will have to connect file with the ada boost then only it will generate let's see now it's generating perfect see okay So it is giving me no, yes, no, yes, the prediction. We can also uh, bring other algorithms. Let's bring this is entry. Remember the connections. This is entry. File to this is entry. Tree to the predictions. Let's bring one more random forest. file to the random forest random forest to the predictions 
now double click on it and just see you will get the prediction for all the three algorithms so this was all about how to run ada boost in orange for more videos on data mining using orange kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which i have uploaded videos on data science machine learning and artificial intelligence please don't forget to like and share my videos you can also follow me on different social medias link given in the description box